gave everything he had for. Why would you come in here and just try to make it easy for everybody? It's not easy, the Bible said. The Bible said, narrow is the way. Oh, yeah. He said it's not easy, but anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. Anybody can be delivered. It's not easy, but anybody can do it. It's not easy, but your mama can do it. It's not easy, but your daddy can do it. It's not easy, but a drug dealer can get it. It's not easy, but a crack addict can get it. It's not easy, but a prostitute can get it. That's why you got all these simpletons and you got all these people because he said I hid it from those that were wise and I gave it to sucklings and babes. He said I hid it from people that thought they knew everything. I hid it from the know-it-alls but I gave it to people that didn't think they were all that and I gave it to people that were fishermen. God hid this message from the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the one that knew everything and he gave it to a bunch of fishermen that were ignorant and when he gave it to some fishermen that were ignorant they turned the world upside down that's what God wants to do with some of you stop talking about what you don't have stop talking about where you came from stop talking about your family stop talking about who did this and who did that I don't care what your Aunt Mabel did I don't care what your Uncle Fred did I don't care how long they've been in prison I came to tell you the lamb gets in you Right. My question to this great body of people, yes. you illustrious, beautiful people, I want to ask you a question. If God was so meticulous, right. if he was so meticulous, ladies and gentlemen, yes. if he told them how he wanted the lamb cooked, if he told them how big he wanted the tabernacle. Yes. Okay, if he told them how long he wanted the ark. Yes. If he told them how he wanted them to leave here at the Chaldees. Right. I've got a small question for this great group of people. Why did he not tell them what herbs to use? When they cook the lamb. Come on. Right. Come on. What you get that in your mind now? If he was so meticulous on how how big the lamb had to be. Yes. And how many days the lamb had to be put up. Yes. Why didn't he tell them the list of herbs to use when they cooked it with the lamb? All right. Come on. And my answer for you, ladies and gentlemen, is it's because God did not care what they used. I'm going to help y'all right now. Why didn't he tell them what herbs to use? Because they didn't want just any herbs. The Bible said they were bitter herbs. And what God was saying was, it doesn't matter what made you bitter. It doesn't matter what caused the heartache. It doesn't matter what caused the breakdown. It doesn't The answer was you gotta get some lamb in your belly. You gotta get some lamb in your mouth. And if you get some lamb in your mouth, and you get some lamb in your mouth. Oh my God! Look at your neighbor. And say the ingredients sometimes doesn't matter. It doesn't matter sometimes, my brother. What made you bitter? It doesn't matter what side of the tracks you came from. And you get some lamb. Oh, 
lots of praise in here right now. Instead of eating the lamb. Buddy, God didn't tell you to get a soup bowl of bitter herbs. Right. He told you, go over there and cut you off some of them lamb. Get some of that lamb. Yeah. By the way, everybody took the red, the leg of lamb. Everybody else took the rack of lamb. They were such in a hurry, they got the sweet part of the lamb. Wow, everything in the lamb is good. But God said, when you compare the when you compare the lamb to your bitterness, when you put that lamb in your mouth, it ain't gonna matter. It ain't gonna matter the people that turned against you. That's right. It ain't gonna matter the discouragement that came about you. Right. It ain't gonna matter what all the people said about you. Hey. It ain't gonna matter what all kinds of junk come in your life. Hey. You might get a piece hey. of the kidney of the lamb. Woo. But he said, I'm not worried about that. All I want you hey. is to get some lamb in your mouth. Because right. it ain't gonna compare to what you've been through. Hey. some of you right now in this church to tell you in this place right now that some of you are sitting around here and you're serving, you're sitting there eating a soup bowl, you're eating a soup bowl of bitter herbs. And God said it doesn't matter what made you bitter. It doesn't matter. As long as you get some lamb in your mouth. It's not it's not. You know why it didn't matter? Because what made you bitter yesterday, Jesus. What made you bitter yesterday doesn't compare to the sweetness of the Lamb today. some lamb in your mouth. God's going to get some lamb in your mouth. Come on, right now. Come on, get some lamb in your mouth. Well, Brother Wade, I got a bitter marriage. Get some lamb in the mouth of your marriage. Brother Wade, I got some bitterness in my family. Well, get some lamb in your mouth. Hey, God, I'm going to shut up. Get some lamb in your mouth. Man, the Spirit of God is in here. I wish we would just be really attacked in the world. I'm telling you, I don't want you 
to eat no more bitterness. I don't want you to be gnawing on any more bitterness. I want you to get some lamb in your belly. I'm getting ready to call you to this altar. Sister Ray, the thing that made them bitter in Egypt was not the same thing that made them bitter in the wilderness. They didn't get to stop celebrating Passover just because they left Egypt. God said, sir, this was an ordinance that you had to keep forever. So the thing that made them bitter in Egypt was not the same herbs they got to use in the wilderness. But God said, when the sting of bitterness and the sting of the wilderness and the sting of your bondage gets too much. Uh -huh. Go over there and get another piece of that lamb. Uh -huh. Go over there and get another piece of the lamb. That's what some of you need to do. I'm opening this altar all over this house. I'm opening this altar. Some of you need to come and get some lamb in your belly. I'm preaching the Cornerstone Tabernacle has had the bitterness. Some of you had bitterness. You've been eating bitter soup. You've been eating 